what's this been this week been like? Uh, it's been it's actually it's actually been a really good week. Like, there's a lot of energy in the in the building. Um, you know, like Coach Shoup said, he gave us those few days off. In those few days, you'll either take full advantage or you'll end up really missing football. And most every guy ended up missing football a lot. So being here has been great. We got to work on us and then get ahead on our opponent too. I, I get the sense that this season, it was kind of like pulling teeth for a little while, but that the, since y'all came back, it's just been fun. Yes, very. Yeah, this season, this season, it has been. It has been like pulling teeth. It's been a tough season. But it's been an enjoyable season. It's been a, a lot of lessons learned this season, a lot of valuable moments that we got to share together, like as a team um, and just like as a unit, basically. So it, it's, it's, been a, it's been an overall good year because out of anything bad, there's always something good that comes from it. I'm curious, too. You mentioned y'all were like the three amigos out there between you, Q, and Josh. Who, uh, who dunked on the other one more this season? Uh, you know... My bounce isn't how it used to be. And Quentin's weight probably isn't going to help him as much. So I would say Josh probably is dunking on Q because no one's dunking on me. That's just like, you know. I kind of meant like ragging on him, but same thing. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that's what you meant, you know. <laughs> but Q, Q, he's the funny guy of the group. He he rags on everybody, everybody. Josh. I know throughout the season that was something everybody talked about, you know, lacking. I mean, are you noticing that you're just making a difference just as part of the energy, you know, here preparing for this game, maybe compared to the season? Most definitely. Um, this game, you know, this game is supposed to be fun. It's not all, you know, it's not all business until we get on that plane and then, you know, there are an hour or two before kickoff. That's when it really sets in. But this is supposed to be fun, you know. And we got to bond a lot, you know, going to Malibu Jacks, going to Malone's. That was all nice. And, that, you know, we really appreciate that because the coaches didn't have to do that, but they did it for us. So that was cool. Larry? It feels us wonder overall how proud you are of yourself for everything you've been able to accomplish and overcome here at Kentucky during your time. Um, to be honest, I usually don't speak on it much, but I would say I'm very proud of myself. And, you know, to hear my family and even the coaches tell me how proud they are of me because when I first got here, you know, I was a JUCO guy. And I ended up in JUCO because I wasn't, you know, the most mature guy. And even when I first got here, you know, coming from a college with two gas stations and a 1,000 people in the entire town to coming to the University of Kentucky, it was like, ooh, look at this, look at that, let's go here. And the growth that I've made, you know, cutting out the partying, the girls, and actually just focusing on what I wanted to focus on and where I wanted to be, that that was tremendous. Um, and looking back over, you know, all the things that I've accomplished in this building that you guys might not even see, like the player of the weeks and stuff like that, like those are things that I've never gotten while I was here. Like I always had the capability but I just never completely locked in like I did this year because I just wanted to do other things. But when I realized what needed to be done or what I wanted to do, I had to do it. And it's like Coach Stoop says, he says, men do what they have to do and little boys do what they want to do. And it's easy to get under the blanket and curl up when it gets tough or you can go out and do it. And I had to go out and do it. And I had to be a man and I had to do what men have to do. I couldn't do what I wanted to do because that wouldn't get me to where I needed to be. So I'm, I'm extremely, you know, prideful in what I've had to do, what I've had to overcome, the injuries and everything else, and just locking in. So I'm very proud. Is there any one person that you think has been the biggest influence on helping you make that transition, or is this just all on you? No, it's definitely not all on me. It's a, it's a collective thing. It was a lot of tough love. That's what I'll say. It was a lot of tough love. But sometimes you need tough love, and you need that to show you that it's not always going to be, you know, lovey-dovey in the real world. And after, you know, my injury, that's what it was. It showed me, you know, 
I have to do this. Like, they cannot do it for me. No one can do it for me. You have to do it yourself. And that's just what it was. It was a lot of tough love and a lot of a lot of good love, too. So it was a collective thing. It was a, basically a team thing. I needed it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Lee Phil, I know this uh, bowl game this weekend is not going to feel like the last couple of uh, bowl games just because of the crowd and things like that, but how motivated are you guys to finish this season? It's been a difficult season with a win. And I guess the second part of that question, how has a 10-game SEC schedule prepared you for uh, this opponent, NC State? Um, yeah, when you play a all SEC schedule, you know, playing somebody else probably won't seem – as big of a deal, but it is because, you know, they're a really good team. And we're extremely excited to get down there, you know, and compete, compete with some other guys. Because, like I said, an SEC schedule is extremely difficult. And it's a chance to go and play another conference to see, you know, how they play ball, how aggressive, how physical, how violent they are. Because that's, that's when I go out to play, I'm coming to bring violence and physicality. Like, I'm trying to hurt the guy in front of me. So I want to see if they're going to bring that same mentality and compete. Like, I want to compete. I want them to compete with me. Um, but, yeah, it's extremely, you know, important to all of us to end this with a W. We, the older guys, this will be our third ring, so we want to end this with a W. So we can be three ringing it. That will be, you know, nice. because I didn't completely understand what you were asking me. Yeah, just, just, having been through bowls before, how does that help you, you know, prepare for, for another bowl when, when maybe some other teams aren't, you know, don't have that luxury? Okay, well, yeah, like, it helps, like, me being an older guy, it helps me get the younger guys, you know, that have never got to experience something like this. You know, they understand that it's a business trip, but they also understand it as, you know, it's vacation time. It's time to go have fun for the work that we put in all year long so it's it's very exciting um yeah it's just it's it's i don't know yeah it's just exciting i can't i can't explain it to you it's it's lovely being able to say that i've been to as many bowls as i have especially coming from juco um and i just get to experience that with other guys like like the freshmen like Ox and Trey, like, they're so excited for this. And I'm excited for them because, you know, I hope they have many like I've had after this.